Lauren Sanchez to keep off Meg at Aviation Awards as Sussex is trying to borrow her private jet G650. Lauren Sanchez, a prominent figure in both media and aviation, is set to receive the prestigious Elling Halverson Vertical Flight Hall of Fame Award at the 21st Annual Living Legends of Aviation Awards, cementing her position as a trailblazer in the industry. As the founder of Black Ops Aviation, the first female-owned aerial film and production company, the 54-year-old has carved a unique path combining her passions for storytelling and aviation into a groundbreaking career. Jeff Bezos' fiancé's influence extends beyond the cockpit as she leverages her platform to inspire and encourage women's involvement in the aviation sector. Lauren's journey began in the bustling city of Los Angeles, where she pursued a degree at the University of Southern California, thanks to a scholarship. Her academic achievements led her to notable stints on television shows like Extras and Good Day LA, and film appearances that showcased her on-camera charisma. However, it was the sky that called to her most profoundly. In 2011, she embraced the challenge of flight training, overcoming dyslexia to earn her pilot's license. Her tenacity and dedication were the catalysts for the launch of Black Ops Aviation in 2016, a move that allowed her to blend her love for film and flight in an unprecedented way. Lauren's trailblazing spirit and prowess as a pilot have not gone unnoticed in the industry. Her consultancy on Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk and a role as an aerial producer for Miss Barla are just a few examples of her exceptional talent. Now Sanchez, the fiancé of Amazon billionaire Jeff Bezos, got her pilot's license over a decade ago and is now being celebrated alongside several aerospace icons, including Harrison Ford and Tom Cruise. The living legend of aviation is bestowing her with its highest honour for vertical flight, the Elling Halverson Vertical Flight Hall of Fame Award. Lauren is a role model and true inspiration for so many women in aviation, said Stacey Elsner, acting executive director of the Living Legends of Aviation. She'll be inducted next Friday alongside Fred George, Steve Hinton and Prince Harry at Glitzy Bash in Beverly Hills, California, hosted by John Travolta. So whether Meghan Markle has the chance to rub shoulders with Sanchez and Bezos, this explains why Meghan is letting Harry win an award by himself. She's using it as a networking event to try and bag herself Bezos. Sanchez has a number and will not let Meghan near Bezos unsupervised. Maybe she heard Sanchez was getting an award and they rushed to get themselves an award so they could sit at the awardee table with them. Optics. According to Neil Sean, Harry wants Meghan to present her with the award. They'll probably ask Lauren if they can borrow her Gulfstream G650. It's a much newer aircraft than Tyler Perry's. Honestly, this is comedy gold. For the Harkles, maybe it's a chance to be around some really important people for a couple of hours. For us, it's been a day of many laughs and that's always positive. Is the timing of this award so that Harry and Meghan can specifically schmooze with Jeff Bezos? With the Harkles, there always seems to be several layers of intent. What are they trying to sell here? Hope Bezos has security to keep unwanted grifters at bay.